This morning, 11 former Atlanta teachers and administrators face up to 20 years in prison. A jury found them guilty in one of the largest test cheating scandals in history. The judge ordered all but one jailed right away. Benita Nair is here to show us the classroom conspiracy that led to the convictions. Benita, good morning. Good morning. Nearly a dozen former Atlanta public school educators are behind bars this morning, closing the chapter on what the city's mayor described as one of the darkest periods in the life of our city. We, the jury, found the defendant guilty. 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 Disgraced school officials guilty. looked stunned as the guilty we verdicts were read out one by one. Guilty. I don't like to send anybody to jail. Judge Jerry Baxter requested that most of them be handcuffed and removed from the courtroom immediately. They have made their bed and they're going to have to lie in it. Only one of the 12 defendants, Dessa Kerb, a former elementary school teacher, was exonerated. I just couldn't plead to something that I didn't do. In 2009, a series of articles cast doubt on dramatic improvements in scores on standardized testing. A 2011 investigation revealed the scope of the cheating was massive. 178 educators, including 38 principals, were implicated from 44 elementary and middle schools. The report detailed how teachers and administrators erased students' incorrect answers and gave the answers aloud in some cases. There is simply no excuse for unethical behavior. It also described the school system superintendent at the time, Beverly Hall, as the creator of a culture of fear and intimidation. Hall died a month ago after a struggle with breast cancer. She never admitted to any wrongdoing. Do we want to address sentencing? The investigation concluded thousands of children were denied remedial education because of the inflated test scores. We've been fighting for the children in our community. When we saw the evidence, it was really not a hard decision. In a statement Wednesday, Atlanta Public Schools said this has been a sad and tragic chapter for Atlanta Public Schools that has now come to a close. It has been a painful time for our students, families, employees, and the city. Sentencing is expected within the next two weeks. Gail? Thanks, Vanita.